So now we've got these. These are the world's biggest glasses. And we're going to have you look inside of these things also. Everything that draws ophthalmologists into the specialty of ophthalmology would drive them away from working with kids. You want precision, but kids don't give you precision. You want to get a measurement, but they're holding both hands over their eyes. Somehow that didn't seem to bother me. I'm David Hunter, and I'm the Chief of Ophthalmology at Boston Children's Hospital. Apple. That's right. House. Good. Square. Excellent. When I got here, I had two goals. One is I wanted this to be considered the best department of ophthalmology in the country and around the world. I wanted it to also be a place where the patient experience was second to none. We're doing everything we can to think about new ways and new approaches to both diagnosing and delivering care to our patients. And we have a number of subspecialists who have their interests that they're pursuing. For me, strabismus, aligned eyes, and amblyopia, which is lazy eye, have become this real focus. She was 2040 the last time with pinhole, but I could not get her that oh, way okay. today. No strabismus, and she does have stereo. It's uncommon enough that the average ophthalmologist in the community don't end up having a lot of experience taking care of strabismus. Whereas here at Boston Children's, we'll see those conditions routinely because of the referral nature of the practice. They come in, can do an assessment, do an intervention, and then off they go into the world. Although it's called Boston Children's Hospital, we don't just see children. There are many people who had strabismus as a child who may then have it come back in adulthood. And there are others who can develop certain infections or other metabolic conditions that can cause the eyes to go out of alignment. And so adult strabismus has almost become a little subspecialty within itself. There we were last time. Wow, she looks so <laughs> little. <laughs> We all know what a critical part of our lives vision plays. And so it's really nice to be able to be managing a condition where so often you can do what needs to be done to make them better and let them go back and live their lives.